Libra placements. Let's do you a reading. Let's see, Libra. Let's see what we have for you. Whoa, a little bit of, uh, I want to say anxious energy here. <sighs> you know, someone's confusion is not working in their favor. Someone here is confusing you and their confusion or the confusion that they're causing is working against them. I feel like they mean well, but they're not acting like they mean well. You know when people act awkwardly, when they tell the truth and, but because they're acting awkwardly, you're like, well, why are you acting awkwardly if you're telling the truth? You must be lying. So the confusion that they're causing is actually making you suspicious of them. But I see that they're telling the truth. So for example, if they're saying something to you, but you find it suspicious or that you find it a little bit weird or it comes across as confusing or awkward, it's not because this person is lying to you. It's because they're awkward. Now, I'm not sure why they're being awkward with you, but I see that it's actually making them come across as suspicious or they could come across to you as if they're lying, but they're not. Now, I do see they're nervous, nervous about telling you the truth or telling you whatever that they want to tell you and it's making them come across as awkward I do feel like they're hiding something though what is, what is this what is this because it's actually confusing what is happening here? What is happening here? <clears throat> They're afraid. Afraid of what? Getting hurt? You know, you know what I'm getting, Libra, is that you have your guard up with this person and think they are suspicious or lying. And they are doing the same. They're afraid of getting hurt by you. In a way, you're mirroring each other. Yeah, you're mirroring each other. You both have been through situations where you've been betrayed, hurt. You have gone through that yourself. And they have gone that and they have gone through that as well. And I feel like you both are projecting on each other. Huh. I'm still like look at this bulk that just fell. This is so this is too much. But there is a bit of um it's like you both have trust issues. You both have trust issues. You find it hard to differentiate between the truth and a lie. And you could be suspicious of the truth when it's spoken. And it's because of the past. Both of your past 
are not a good pass. So you and this person have suffered some type of betrayal. And that betrayal is still making an effect or making an impact on you and this person. Sorry, I need to like buy like bigger trousers because my legs spread when I'm sitting and it's too tight. It's uncomfortable. So you both are projecting here. You both are projecting here. And it's because of your past, not your past alone, but also their past. Hmm. I, f I still feel like there's something missing here that I'm not seeing in this situation. Interesting. <sighs> yeah, I see it now. The last piece of the puzzle here that I was looking for is mental instability. So you're dealing with someone that is not really mentally stable. Now here's the thing, I'm not saying that this person is crazy. I'm saying that this person got hurt to the point where there is chemical imbalance in their brain, which is causing them to act weird in accordance to what they say, which explains the awkward behavior or the suspicious behavior behind their verbal communication with you. Very interesting. I did not see that coming. But it does explain a lot, okay? They could be hiding the fact that they're still in love with the person that hurt them. So this person is not really over what happened to them. Here's the thing though, they have feelings for you, but they're not over the past person. I feel like this person really uh, it's like they're suffering right now because of what happened to them in the past with a person that they're not fully over. And it's making their energy appear as unauthentic. That's what's happening here, Libra. This person is coming across as suspicious because... They are not clear in their energy, for one. And for two, they are mentally unstable because of it. So they can come across as someone that is um, unstable. And they are unstable mentally. This person is struggling with their past. Or should I say letting go of their past. They can't let go of the past. Even if it happened years ago, they can't let go of that past. It's like it, it has, it has like a, it has left a huge mark on them. And this mark is not something that is just going to be healed by time. You know, when people say time heal things or time will heal, not in this case, because I feel like this person needs some type of therapy or some type of expert assistance to untangle the complication or the, the, the uh, unbalanced energy we have here. Their physical brain could not be the average brain 
what I mean by that is they could be traumatized to the point where it's, it has become a mental illness. Because not all mental illnesses are inherited. Uh, you know, some of them are made and some of them are caused by traumatic experiences. And this person's past with that person that they are still hung up on uh, has, has created this imbalance in their brain. And they're not normal since. There is a bit of uh, unawareness here. Maybe this person doesn't know that they are not normal. Maybe they think they just have an anxiety or stress or they don't think it's severe. They don't think it has become a mental illness. They don't think that they have reached a point of, you know, needing medical help or needing uh, medical attention or... Uh, a therapist to help them see this through. They might be even offended by that, by that idea to go to the therapist because, you know, a lot of people think that if you go see someone, it's, it's, it means that you're crazy. Now, don't get me wrong, if you, if you think that you can handle it on your own, there's nothing wrong with processing the healing on your own. But if it makes you not who you are or it makes you struggle expressing yourself and it makes you dependent on drugs or alcohol to make you feel better, to make you express yourself. You definitely need a therapist because I see this person wanting to have something with you. In fact, they have feelings for you, but at the same time, they're not over the past. So it's almost like this person is splitting themselves into being with you and the other half is still in the past. It's almost like you have a third party here without the, th the third party. There is no physical presence of the third party. It is an energetic presence, meaning that this person is keeping someone's energy alive in their energy and in a way that acts out as third party and this person is hung up on that on, on that third party and i feel like the huge part of that is their traumatic experience that they have accumulated from the past person and that trauma is living in their head, rent free. And it comes out as insincerity. It comes out as indecision. It comes out as suspicious, awkward, when they try to communicate or get close or get intimate with someone. And in this case, it happens to be you. And you might be thinking that this person, there is something off about them. Yes, you're right. There is something off about them, but not towards you. It's toward themselves. In fact, this person is trying to move on, but they can't because they have like this trauma that they have no handle on. And they're trying to start something with you or just trying to maintain something with you. And it's not working because they're not coming across as authentic. And part of that is them not realizing that they're being like this. And there is another part of this where this person thinks that they've got a handle on it and they don't. So, I kind of feel bad for this person actually. Um, It's, it's, it has created this split. They might even come across as someone that has split personalities. Because it has created a split in them. It's like one foot is in the future 
and one foot is in the past or one foot is in the present or one foot is in the past. It has created this split in them. Energetically, they're not a whole person. They're not fully present because there is a part of them that's still in the past, reliving the past, reliving the trauma. And the trauma is very much physical as well. This is why I say mental illness. There is like a, a chemical imbalance in their brain because of the trauma that they have experienced. Now, I don't know what happened to them in with that connection, but it seems like they're still hung up on it. And there are feelings. There are good feelings and bad feelings in regard to the past. And this person is not over it. And they're trying to move on with you because they do have feelings for you as well. Like this person does have the wish to move on with you and forget about the past. But it's, but it's almost impossible because it's, it's become so embedded in them that it's like deeply rooted and they have not dealt with it for so long. And it has created this split and in that split, they're not really sure what to do. Am I black or am I white? Am I left or am I right? That split is because they're not really sure. They're not really certain of what to do, where to be, who they are. And that split was created by that traumatic experience that happened to them in the past. So if you are wondering if this person is being like deliberately awkward or deliberately trying to sneak one up on you or deliberately trying to manipulate you. No, I don't see intentional manipulation or intentional way to fuck with you. I see that they are genuinely fucked up. You know, when people say damaged goods, this is what we have damaged goods. This person is not a bad person but they're definitely damaged to the point where they can come across as a bad person. I'm going to pull advice for you in this case. I feel like, you know, it, this needs some type of advice here. Okay. Let me see. What would you suggest Libra does with this person? What is the best course to take? What is the best action or the best thing to do? Or the best thing for Libra on how to handle this situation? Okay, so this is basically telling you, remember that no one is perfect. Everyone is a little damaged here and there. Creating a safe space for this person could help them recognize that, you know, they, they've got something to heal or something to work on. You could even suggest to this person that, hey, you know, I, I saw this therapist and they're really good. Uh, I've used them myself. Uh, do you want me to give you their number? You know, creating a safe space for this person to feel, to, to trust that you won't be hurting them or you won't be using their pain against them. That will help this situation. Because I feel like this person has trust issues and they are afraid that you're just going to turn around and hurt them the same way as everybody did in their past or someone specifically here that we talked about and they're just afraid that you will do the same and so your advice here is to be their wall to lean on 
Give them the support that they need. Get in touch with your compassion, your empathy. Help them find their way. I feel like there's a contract between the two of you because this is this does not seem like this is just like uh, someone that you pass and you see that they, they need help with their grocery bags. It feels like you have a contract with this person to help them during this period. So I'm not saying to take full responsibility for what this person is going through, but I feel like there is a contract here between the two of you where you enter this person's life at this time in order to help them or guide them out of the imbalance that they are experiencing. And maybe before you came to this life, you promised to look after each other. And maybe you are showing up as someone that is stronger than this person. And you have a duty towards them to help them. And this duty is not to force your way in, but to gently make them feel safe to come out of their shell, of their dark side, or of their dark room that they have locked themselves in. So, of course, Libra, if you choose to help this person, that's, you know, that's your choice. But I feel like you do have a contract of some kind towards this person. And if you fulfill it, obviously, you get to be together happily ever after. But if you're like, well, I'm not doing that, that's also your choice, of course. But I do see that you have a contract. It's like, I'll be there for you before you even met them. And that's manifesting. So, this person needs you and your advice is to help them. You might be their, their last hope before they lose their fucking mind because they're halfway there. Alrighty then. Let's pull you another message. Libra. There is an Aries here. They can have Aries in their chart or Scorpio in their chart. That's fucking with you. <laughs> and when I say fucking with you, I mean in a playful way. It's not that serious, okay? Now... Depends on how much you can tolerate their way of fucking with you because I do see they're playing games with you. And for them, it seems to... Uh, it seems to even arouse them. Which is a weird thing to say, right? It feels like this person is getting aroused by torturing you a little bit. Now, the torture here is giving you mixed signals distancing themselves from you to see how much you miss them it's it's kind of like i don't know like it, it's it's kind of like dumb games people play right you know when people 
kind of like disappear from your life and they do that intentionally in order to see how you would act and how much you would miss them and you know you know when people play those dumb games i feel like that's what you have here someone here is pulling away from you in order to see how much of an effect they have on you if you think this person is not interested in you false they are very much interested in you but they want to see how much they can control you how much of an effect they have on you will libra miss me i wonder how many days libra can go without me <laughs> i wonder if if i can confuse libra i wonder if i can make libra jealous so you have someone here that's playing dumb games with you okay and they're playing those games because they are interested in you which is like weird to say but that's what we have here i feel like this is the type of person that thinks if you fuss about them if you get jealous if you go crazy a little bit for them that's when they believe you truly love them or truly have feelings for them so this person is watching observing your reaction or your action to their behavior they have no intention to leave you alone if you think that this person is pulling away from you because they're not interested that's not their intention here their intention here is to fuck with you just enough to see how you will react if you are the type of person that uh loves the chase this person will be enjoying it if you don't love the chase then you're like fuck that i'm not chasing them they will think that you don't love them that you're not interested you have someone here that loves the attention and i don't think that this person lacks getting attention it's just that they love getting the attention from the people that they like so if you want to show this person that you are interested in them, chase them. We're going to take this energy to the extended. Uh, the extended link will be in the description box. I'll see you there.